Hello and welcome to PSM Speak, which is the most important uh, sector for the human development, education. Unfortunately, that is the sector which has been a kind of most neglected in this country. Recent days, on uh, this 3rd, 3rd September 2024, the government of Telangana has appointed an education committee. Impliedly, the government has accepted the poor quality of education and the need for the urgent reforms. To that extent, this state government deserves commendation, compliments. How big is the education sector in this country? Let's look at some statistics. The total number of schools in this country, 14,89,000 of them, the government's share, the number of schools the government is organizing, 10,22,000, 4.66,000 in the private sector. And there are, of course, the number has dwindled over years, the number of teachers both uh, private and uh, public sector, the government sector together, 95 lakh, 9.5 million. And of them, the government teachers, 48.82 lakh. And how many students getting education in these institutions in the country? 26 crore 52 lakh. The number is much bigger than the number of people, the populations of many countries in this world such big is the education sector but how poor is that in fact the national achievement survey of uh, ncert of 2021 has shown how poor is the educational quality in the country and it has shown the deteriorating conditions of course, this is mentioned in the intention of the Telangana government for appointing this education commission. The schools, number of schools, we have seen 14,89,000. This is only about school. When you take at the universities, because the educational standards are very bad, starting from primary, not primary, pre-primary to university level. So, the higher education sector, we have 1,168 universities or equivalent institutions and government universities, 685, 45,473 colleges. Besides, there are some unaffiliated institutions which we call standalone. Their number is 12,002. So, in the schools, primary schools, high schools, colleges, universities, the educational conditions are pathetic. Are we not spending enough on education? Let's see the budget figures uh, for one year. Uh, that was 2020-21. In the country as a whole, by the educational departments of center and states put together, 6,47,000 crore, 6.47 lakh crore was spent on education. This was equal to 8.96% of uh, the budget as a whole in the country. And not small, so to say. Then as a percent of GDP, gross domestic product, 2013-14 plus 3.84% equivalent. And 2020-21, 4.64%. The public spending, let's take another year, 2018-19, 3.9% of the GDP, while the private spending is 2.7% of the GDP. Of course, the private sector spending is observed to be increasing over years, which means more of privatization of education, whereas education, and health, food are the primary responsibilities. I can say the constitutional responsibilities of the government. So it is left to the private sector to a significant extent. Whatever the educational spending, we say it looks very big. All right. 
it is big 6.47 lakh crore but uh, that is only something 3.9 percent of the gdp but the kotari commission way back in 1960s suggested it should be six percent of the gdp let alone achieving that goal but in my view the money is not small the number of institutions is not very small the number of teachers is not small and the students that are getting into education is not very small as we have just seen the numbers then this committee is coming with certain goals like it is going to serve as a think tank to the government it's going to make suggestions to the government on policy reforms and it wants to have an approach a total holistic approach for the development of uh, educational system as a whole skill development apprenticeship and skills matching and an egalitarian society with egalitarian values imbuing in the students making them the responsible global citizens good the goals are really excellent whether this commission is going to really come out with such suggestions implementable by the government whether it is actually going to implement them or not is a different matter but it is raising hopes this video i am making to make an appeal to this commission to focus on certain areas hoping that the commission would seriously think on these issues and meet the aspirations of the people the goal is the students children should join the schools there are many outside schools even till today and those who join here should remain in the schools complete their education without dropout which is very significant and the atmosphere in the school should be ideal for both boys and girls that is not there the quality is so poor as the annual status of education report acer of pradhan has pointed out in its 2022 report the students of third class are not able to read the textbook of not of their class a significant number of second class students of fifth class are unable to read some are not able to identify letters unable to write words not able to write in fifth class or so even higher classes simple sentences small arithmetic subtraction of two numbers division so poor is the education and why there is so much drop out in the schools if you ask some kids who are outside schools they say why you are not continuing in the school they say my teacher beats me up teacher scares so i left the school ran away from the school so that is the environment in the school not all teachers but we have been seeing in the newspapers the cruel teachers their brutal behavior torturing them physically and mentally does the government need any money to change the attitude of the teachers why can't we train them so our expectation demand a request to this commission to focus on all these areas like the basic amenities at the schools there are schools schools without electricity schools without proper buildings schools without a place to wash their hands schools without toilets without toilets to the girl students and the buildings in debris no buildings at all more so there are schools where some dozen teachers not even a single student there are schools with hundreds of students but not many teachers no teacher in english no teacher in mathematics so on and so forth there is a mismatch in the government schools is it that the teachers in the government school less qualified no they are well qualified well trained but the situation suggests that they need to be retrained to make them students 
treat as their own children make the school environment an enjoyable place to the school students yes there are reasons which could be outside the competence and control of the education commission the reasons uh, for the children not attending children are not responsible for that their parents their parents are not responsible their poverty unless we address the poverty issues they can send their kids to the schools so the commission said holistic so we further extend this it is the government duty and it should have a strategy appropriate strategy to eradicate poverty linked to the bad school education and students not attending not attending regularly so make the schools attractive and this issue which is not within the competence of the education commission the government cannot eternally ignore that so we have to have a holistic view and whatever possible by this commission should look should focus should bring to the government notice ask the government bring the changes that are necessary right from preschool to university level to develop the skills yes it said the egalitarian values we have observed situations where girls are not able to go to school because of the harassment sometimes sexual harassment by the teachers even peers also this situation should change so let's hope uh, the telangana education committee will look into all these uh, matters to bring necessary reforms by doing this this commission is not only doing good to the telangana educational institutions but will show the way to the other states will set examples thank you so much for so patiently watching this video if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel please do subscribe as you know subscription is free but it greatly encourages me to get to you more videos of this type and more frequently thank you